All right, got a pod switch pod here for a customer and his goal wing. And that thing's gonna go with this dash right here. And today I'm gonna be cutting out the electronic area, all these areas to install the actual electronics. Which are right here, and you can see I gotta fabricate mounting brackets to this thing because the board is too small. It needed to be a little bit higher so you can mount it to the dash, so it can go past the opening of the dash, so you can mount your little L brackets on there. But again, the boards are too small; they're too short, which is really stupid. This is 2017, and Jupiter still has not changed the board design so if you ever watch this Jupiter Chris please do us all a favor because I'm not gonna buy off you anymore unless you make this board higher all this little brackets that I have to build into this is a pain in the rear and it's not fun to do so I recommend highly that you you add a, at least another inch on all sides of these boards so we can mount these to our dash thank you all right, guys, I believe today is April or May, sorry, May 4th. And the customer needs this dash and all his parts by the 20th. And he needs it actually before the 20th. He needs it maybe a week before. So I got a really quick deadline to get this out in the next few days. So we're going to be building this on the quick. So I don't want to spend too much time making these videos, but what I'm doing here is more little wood mounts for it and I'm going to be mounting this with epoxy on here so it gives me something to actually mount this to the dash with an with that uh, overhang it's going to be cut where that line is so that's just going to give me a place to mount into the top of the dash because the opening is literally the size of this board it's not high enough for me to be able to reach these holes <clears throat> and I'm gonna have to use one of these on this side and just barely mount it to the little tip because there's a resistor in the way right there or a transistor whatever that is it's right in the way so I can't even run one all the way across here so I gotta kind of epoxy one on the edge and possibly go through that hole and put a screw to hold this on there because it's not gonna be held on very much now the other side is not gonna be a problem I'll be able to put one right across and yeah this is just for mounting purposes to the dash I'm using wood because I don't want to conduct you know any of uh, electricity and this is you know it wood's not gonna you're not gonna have a problem and as you can see you got pipes you got wiring on the top too not only on the back but also on the top so yeah if you use metal brackets it's a good possibility that you're going to fry your board. And that's why I'm, why I'm using uh, wood. Keep, it from, keep that from happening. So just in case I do go on one of the little the legs here, the wood won't be a problem. So again, it's a pain in the butt to do what I'm doing. Because once you have those on, you got to put these on smash it together backwards smash these together I use double sided tape to hold this to to the wood um, mounts and then once you have it like that I'm also going to probably run some Lex and plastic cover to protect this from dirt and stuff so I have to cut a piece of that and you can see how I did this one in the past it's the same concept some Lex and plastic protecting the electronics and you can see what I did you can see the little uh, mounts that I made and again because this is too sh too short height wise it needs to be taller now if the board was just an inch taller on each side even half inch taller probably would be be able to uh, mount this without adding all these little you know mounts wood mounts for it which is kind of a pain in the butt to do 
but it is what it is and I got to get it done so I'm just showing you this quick video on how I'm doing it because um, I know a lot of you guys are going to buy this and go what the heck it doesn't fit the dash you're going to buy these and go and wonder you know how is this supposed to be done and I don't blame you it is kind of difficult so we got this part here is it supposed to mount in here like this get that backwards but you can see it's really not high enough I know it's gonna be problems I need to, to extend this board out and it gets even worse for the bigger ones it's pretty much flush don't believe me I'll go get one and show you right now we'll take this one here which is the RPM board and you can see the four season electronics same width board exactly the same so I already know it's gonna be the exact same problem so this board is RPM board I believe it goes here and as you can see it's just not there's no way you can mount that here and have enough space to get that to mount to the top there it's just too low it's like a half inch to an inch too low um, you could probably custom bracket these in with you know some fiberglass and have it you know coming coming out this way and then pointing down uh, but then it's gonna be hard to get this in if you do that because you're not gonna be able to move that so that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it it's the easiest way I found is just to add those little wood um, extensions to this so you can mount it to the dash better so that's the situation we got going on where uh, you know something simple could have been something easy if they would have just engineered this with the dashes on the market and they're all like this they're all similar in size so you're not going to buy one off so and so and it's going to fit any better it's not you're going to have the same issue with anybody's dash because everybody kind of copies around the same um you know the same look of the dash it's all off the same show so again it's a pain in the butt but you got to get kind of you got to get your creative hat on and start thinking how can I do this and this is not the only way to do it there's many different ways to do it uh, this is just the way I prefer to do it because it's it's what I figured out was best for me but if you want to do it differently go ahead by all means um, sky's the limit do what do whatever you want you know it's your project if you want to use L brackets you want to use metal brackets in here you can do it but you're at risk of frying your boards and uh, I'm just not going to take that chance. All right, guys, let's say you don't want to use these wood things extended out to drill into because it's wood. We want metal. All right, so let's say we're going to take some of these little L or straight brackets and then make L brackets out of them. And we're going to screw them into the holes provided, right? And then we're going to bend them. So you still need to mount these here and as you can see when I put it on there just slide around um, there's nothing really to keep this on there really there's nothing really so regardless you're gonna have to use some kind of shim wood plastic shim um, just to mount these on so even if you do a metal bracket you still need something to stick these templates to your boards and I still recommend double-sided tape you can use the 3M stuff I'm using this this stuff because it's kind of cushiony it's a little thicker than the 3M stuff which is right here it's a little, little bit thinner well, it's about the same but um yeah I'm, I'm gonna be using this and yeah that's how you gotta mount these little boards or else they're just gonna be sliding around and you don't want them all crooked when you try to smash them on there so you need to mount these somehow to your boards 
and that's where the little wood shims or you can use plastic if you can find some plastic ones that's that's fine ABS whatever just something that's gonna fill up the space and be a little bit higher than your leads at least when you put it on it hits that and you can you know double-sided tape it to the board itself so keep that in mind just wanted to throw that out there um, you're gonna have to do that regardless if you use the little L brackets these ones are a little bit harder to use because you got to be kind of exact um, height wise I measured it from the bottom here and I, I if it's as long as it's under one inch long it should clear uh, the dash from the bottom side uh, any more than an inch you're, you're not going to be able to fit this in there right you're gonna have to cut some more off but yeah so I'm just gonna use the wood ones it seems a little bit easier than using these because this you gotta fiddle with it you gotta you gotta really get this thing perfect to where you want it um, and then you gotta cut it these ones are gonna go on the dash itself if you use these you can always just cut it to where you want it and then butt it up and get it into the hole and screw it to that either way will work drill a hole through the wood that'll work just as well all right we're gonna epoxy these on now and I'm using some Loctite epoxy it sets in five minutes and this is it here it's a two-part gonna put some on a cardboard get a little brush brush this on the back side and stick it to the board all right, just epoxy those on. We'll give it a good 10, 20 minutes to dry. Stuff does dry in five minutes though. Next, we're gonna cut out the dash electronic area where these go in the dash so I can make sure that they fit in there nice and uh, nice and uh, accurately the where they, where they should be. We don't want it to be too high, too low. We want it right in the middle so we might have to cut these back a little bit if it's a little bit off so right now I'm going to take the time and come over here and do the cutouts of our electronic area right here and right here and I'm going to use the air saw right, I'm going to show you a really easy way to cut out your dash so what we're going to use is a step drill bit you get these at Harbor Freight titanium nitride tips high speed that steel step drill bits and just it's real fast to make a, a big hole and what you're gonna do is you can do it from the front side or the back side do it from the front side here take your drill and just all right that's big enough to get my cut in my saw well you guys get the idea I'm not going to continue recording I want to save my battery but make your cut out we're on the border on both sides. Alright, got these cut out. Nothing fancy. You know, I still got to trim it some more and shave it, but just wanted to fit, make sure everything fits in the back, and it does. You take your, your board, fit it back here real quick. Just make sure those extensions are not too long back there. So, you, you know, that's all I'm trying to do. And it looks like it's pretty good. Now, these electronics were meant to install from the front side but it's really a pain in the butt to try to cut it out to cut the, the templates and all that to cut it out perfectly I've done it before but it's not easy so I decided to mount it from the back side um, this thing is fairly deep it's probably a little too deep so what I'm gonna do is probably cut this out a little bit more shorter because it's just too deep I don't want to run the risk of that stacked board hitting the stock uh, uh, like uh, cluster. So uh, to push it back a little forward would be best to do on this type of dash. And so we're just going to trim 
some more off um, you can go real close I mean you can go like literally an inch away from here and you can see it's probably two 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 inches two and a half so if you want you could all, all cut all the way up to about an inch going across inch inch and a half inch and a quarter something like that um, same on the sides here you can cut this shorter in the bottom you can cut it shorter as well going across and same thing on this side you can cut it shorter it's really up to you how short you want it I'm probably gonna go really short on this because I don't want it to, again I don't want it to hit the cluster on the dash when you fit this in there because these electronics from Jupiter they're, they're stacked pretty thick so but this is just a quick cutout I'll be cutting it again All right, so I got a season two dash here. You can see the difference. It's flat on top. And if you look at right here, it's only three inches deep. And this one is four and a half inches deep from there to there. So if you don't cut this, you can see where the line should be right here. If you don't cut that shorter, this, there's a possibility that your board is going to hit your cluster on your dash so you might need to cut it back farther if you have that problem I'm just going to do it because I don't want to mess with it later I don't want to have to leave it where it's at and then it, it not fit right so I'd rather just to cut it back right now and we're going to make a line straight across from the TV area to there okay um, actually not straight you're going to have it kind of go this way and then you're gonna have it, it's gonna have a, uh, an angle to it, just like this one. It kinda angles this way and then it angles up. So you don't want it straight, my bad. You don't want it straight, you want it to go in at an angle. And this one could be straight all the way across, but again, you can see how short this one, three inches, and this one, Again, this is four and a half inches. This was made for the electronics to fit from the front, but it's just a pain in the butt. Not many people like to do that. Uh, I don't, I done it once and I, did, I didn't like it. So I'm just gonna cut it shorter to this line here. You can see where there's a line. So it's easily to cut here. Um, and then just, this one will go straight across. Straight across from there to there. And that's pretty much it. And then you can install your electronics back there. But I just wanted to throw that out there that this is deeper than uh, than normal. And it's because of that mounting from the inside. Which you can do with Jupiter's electronics. But um, yeah, it's just it's kind of a hassle to have to cut the templates out. They have to be perfect. If you screw up, and then you screw up the templates. So it's just better to go from the back side. So yeah, just if you bought this dash, just go ahead and cut it shorter. All right, I cut, cut a little back more. I don't know, a half inch, an inch off is what I took. And you can see now when I put this board in here, it's got plenty of room now for the electronics to stick out. Before, only that much was, was fitting, about like that. So you cut it a little shorter and it'll widen that up just enough for the whole thing to fit in there. And that's what you want. All right, best way to fit these uh, electronics is take the templates and tape it in the back together. And this will show you how, how good it's gonna fit. So if this doesn't fit, your electronics won't fit. So it looks like we're good. Still got a little more trimming to do on the edge over there, far edge. But it looks like it's going to line up really good. But yeah, it takes some time to, to trim that out. You want to trim, trim it straight. You can see right there in the tip, it's still a little bit crooked. So I got to fix that. Okay, so say so you want to get this real straight, top and bottom. Take a long block. This is a good foot long block with 80 grit run it right up on there like that and go back and forth determine where the end of the board is so you can make sure you put the line there and you can see where I have the end of 
my board right here and right there. Alright, so that should be nice and straight. We're going to flip this over. Take our boards again and check the fitment. And that's spot on, that's where we want it. to do one hand but it's pretty good might need to grind a little more in the middle but yeah just work it until you get it to where you want until there's no gaps all right so now I got my double-sided tape on here and what we're gonna do is just peel this off and stick our boards right on there aligned up just like that and you can see that it's perfectly lined up there next step is um, you don't have to use a plexi or a Lexan cover but I think I'm going to use one and I'm going to cut it out a little bit bigger, about an inch bigger on, on top and bottom. That way when I screw this in, it can screw into the Plexi as well, or the Lexan. I'm using Duraplex this time. Right there. It's extra strength acrylic sheet. It's supposed to be 50 times stronger than glass. All right, guys, so since I cut, did the cutout with the angle, I had to heat this up with my heat gun only for about a minute. And as I was heating up this side, it literally bent on its own. And then I took it over here to the dash and make sure it fits. And it was right on. And you can see I marked where the bend should be. And that's the separation of the boards. And there you go. All right, slide the boards on the back of the Plexi or Duraplex, Lexan, whatever you're using. And make sure it's lined up from the from this side and once it's lined up where you want it mark it and then you're gonna drill your holes through this little tabs here wood tabs and you're gonna go all the way through the, the plexi and you can put a screw through that and then we'll work on next on the little L, L brackets to hold this in all right next is the uh, L brackets it doesn't matter which L bracket you use you can use these type real thick ones can use these you can use real small ones like this it really doesn't matter use big ones like that point is we need to get this uh, this cover mounted because the cover here is what we're gonna mount this to so you can use two up here three depends on if you got a gap like if you got a gap right there it's not and it's not working with this one you put one right here just to fix that little gap there usually you only need two you might need three now it's up to you, you can use that one or you can use a wide one, it's really up to you. If you don't want it to, to see it as much, use the small ones. Get rid of the big ones, you can use the big ones at the small, on the bottom. You know, you only need two of these, maybe three, one in the middle. So one, epoxy them on, make sure you sand it just a little bit where it's going to go. Uh, and then epoxy will hold it just fine. Put epoxy at the bottom and even up on top over it. Uh, later, if you want to put a little layer of glass, you can do that too. But epoxy works just fine. And uh, I'm going to go and epoxy that in right now. Alright, so the way I cut out these electronics is they're going to sit. This one's going to sit at an angle like this. Just slightly. It's almost straight, but I just slightly, slightly, ever so slightly angled it. 
just so it kind of gives you that angle towards the driver and then this one is a little bit angled this way just a slight and then this one's got the angle going this way so you're going to have like a panoramic view of the electronics when you sit down i didn't want everything straight i kind of wanted you know panoramic type uh view so it feels like it's just wrapping you around the dash a lot of people i've seen them put these on straight which is fine you can do that too straight over there but if you do this one too straight and don't give that a little bit of an angle it's gonna look like it's pushed in so that's why I did that and I did cut back a little bit in here and you can see it before it was real far back there now I'm cutting a good inch off maybe maybe more cut it all the way up to this uh, top of the TV bezel here um, I think that's it for now I'm gonna continue working on this tomorrow this air er this area will be next and then I'll work on these later and then I'll work on the voice box after that and then I'll do all my cuts at the very end and then I'll block this out and uh, fill all the little imperfections in it and then primer it at the end and you can see little out brackets there they're real small three small ones at the top and two big ones at the bottom oh and by the way if you're thinking why it looks like crap it's because it still has the PVA uh, agent that I have not washed off yet which is this stuff here it just peels right off but um, soap and water takes it right off it looks like kind of dull looking where you see it shiny black that's where I've already taken it off or it's already come off and that's all the PVA so see that it's kind of hiding the gloss of the dash so I'll do that in a little bit but um installing this pod is real easy drill two two to four holes depending how many you want to put Here's the pod, and you can see I already drilled out four holes. All we're going to do is hold this up here, just like that, and then we're going to uh, mark it from the back side and then drill those out. All right, I only put two bolts in there, two big ones, and it's holding on pretty good. And next, line up the steering wheel. Lines up pretty good. Not 100% perfect, but it's not bad. And it all depends how you fit this in your your car too. On your, you gotta fit the dash in correctly. You gotta fit the pod in. Uh, you gotta have the tilt wheel set in the right position as well for this all to line up good. You know, a lot of people don't put the tilt wheel uh, in the right position and then it, this thing will be low or high and it doesn't look right. Alright, so it looks like right here I'm off just a hair. So I'm going to have to just grind a little bit of the dash off right here to get that flush. And then this side looks a little bit better, but there is a little bit of a gap here. Um can't really tell from the sitting position can't really tell from this position either but well, maybe just a skim coat of filler would fill that right in right here this one's got a tiny gap too I think that's normal the gap just a little bit because that's at the bottom where it's starting to flare down but it's nice and snug here so yeah I just got to grind a little bit off to get that perfect on that side this side's pretty good other than that, pretty good fit.
All right, this epoxy is already dry, and this is solid. Solid now. These are rock hard on the dash. So now the way this installs, this just slides right in, just like that. And I, I put the, I put these so close that just by doing this and bending it up is enough to squeeze it up there. And then all you have to do is put your little screw here. Uh, screw here and then I put one in the middle because I know it would gap out in the middle and once you put it there there will be no gap and that's all there is to it and then um, you don't even need no screws down here just the force of it being pushed up with the other screws will be plenty uh, and then next you just mount your uh, your electronics on here with those little shims on it and that's going to mount to the plastic here and yeah and that's it and then you do the same thing over here same thing over here and um, yeah then you're done that's electronics I'm sure there's a million different ways to do this but this is the way I've been doing it with good results and it's fairly fast to do so let's check out the other side real quick so if I flip this up this better okay there you go and I do have the protective uh, cover on it that's why it's white but that's a clear you can see there's not really any gaps in it it's nice and flush and I'll do the same thing over there tomorrow So, I mean, you can get a headache trying to figure out how to do this. And that's why I'm doing this video so you guys can learn a little bit how I'm doing it. So you can get an idea, uh, at least, of how to do it if you buy electronics from Jupiter. Uh, I know ZA has his board about the height of this. So there's no need to have to do the um, adding the shims to the boards. The boards are already high enough. So all you would need to do on his is the same thing, epoxy some little brackets on I mean I'm telling you guys epoxy works just fine it, it stuff's rock rock solid you just gotta make sure you put enough on when you're doing it put it at the bottom put it at the top and cover it cover the whole thing you know, see how I caked it on it's covered up the whole thing on all of them you can see it I got it covered on all of that so that keeps it from and if, you, if you're insecure about it just get a piece of fiberglass real small just a little piece and just glass right over this just the edge of it but I'm telling you it's not needed um, when you paint the dash you could just paint this black and then you won't really see too much of this I like the fact that these ones are round so uh, you won't cut yourself on them or anything if you reach under the dash but yeah that's that's it for today uh, I might upload this because it's gonna be a long video if I if I keep gathering um, the whole project and, and I put it together it's gonna be probably hours long so I'm gonna probably upload this today so you guys can see how far I'm at and then tomorrow or the next day when I start working on it some more you guys can see the uh, part two and part three of this uh, Knight Rider dash build alright that's it for now it's getting dark so I'm calling it a day <laughs>